Hello, Zoe. What you doing? I couldn't understand that. <laughs> I think you're eating breakfast. Hey, you with your mouth shut. Hello, folks. The Atari 7800 Junkie uh, back with you once again with another edition of the Gaming Pet House Show. And before I start the show, I do want to remind you guys there's still one more week to enter into my 200 subscriber contest. If you want to see details on that, go back and watch my show from last week. Hi. Uh, you'll see what you have to do. Hi. Zoe, you are a ham. Anyways, uh, for this introduction to this show, I want to talk about the uh, the Wii U and the pricing, if you know what I feel about it. And of course, this past Thursday, uh, Nintendo announced the Wii U coming out at three hundred dollars for the eight gigabyte model, three hundred fifty dollars for the thirty two gigabyte model that comes with Nintendo Land. And you know, I'm I'm kind of disappointed with the pricing and whatnot. I thought that Nintendo would want to put Nintendo Land with both Wii U consoles. Uh, that 8 gigabyte one doesn't come with any games, so to actually play something, you have to buy a game anyways, which will probably push it above $350, so I don't know why anybody wouldn't buy the 32 gigabyte model to begin with. Uh, I know eventually when I get one, I'll get the 32 gigabyte model, unless, of course, there's a better, more gigabyte model out by the time I get it. Uh, I guess that tells you that I'm not going to be getting it at launch. I'll be getting my Wii U for the same reason why I had to get a Wii, and that's when the new Super Smash Bros. game comes out. I mean, that's still my favorite. Super Smash Bros. Brawl is still... <laughs> excuse me here. I'm trying to fight off the cold. Super Smash Bros. Brawl is still my favorite game on the Wii, uh, and justified me buying the Wii. I mean, it's fantastic. Although Mario Kart Wii, you know, now that I've played it for about a week or so, is also another fantastic game. Uh... I guess you'll see that in my pickups here in a minute. <laughs> uh, so yes, I can wait for uh, to be able to buy a Wii U. Let everyone else have their fun with it. Although some of the games that are coming out at launch or in the launch window, which lasts until March, it's a large launch window, look, pr look to be pretty interesting games, but... I'll still wait to get mine. Uh, hey, let me know if you guys are going to be getting your Wii U right away, or if you're going to be waiting, or if you're just not going to buy it at all and waiting for the next Xbox or the PlayStation 4. Or, you know, or you just stick with classic games and don't buy any of the new systems at all. <laughs> Alright, with that in mind, let's go on to my pickups for this past week. Alright folks, this is the part of the show where I'm going to show you my pickups from the past week. Uh, and uh, this is being filmed on uh, Saturday. Zoe, that's a football over there. What's that? Three, two, one. Alright folks, this is the part of the show where I'm going to show you my pickups for this past week. And uh, even though I guess you don't really need to know this, it's being filmed on Saturday. Because I'm already at my limit for the games I can get this week. Uh, so, uh, this past Friday, I stopped at a garage sale, and there was a lady there selling a Wii with a bunch of games, and three guitar controllers, and a drum controller, and some regular controller for $125. Obviously, I didn't need that, but I did ask if she would sell any of the games separately, and she did. She sold four games separately for $20, uh, which isn't a real fantastic deal, but uh, the last game that I'll show you. It makes it worth it. But here's the first one here, and it is Wii Sports. It was in one of those cardboard sleeves. I took that out. Oddly enough, I put it in a PlayStation 2 case. I guess I'll need to put it in a regular DVD case. I'll print out a, uh, a Wii Sports label for this uh, from that cover project website. Uh, next one here is Soul Calibur Legends. Only downside with these games is none of them came with the manual. They have the disc, but no manual on any of these. Uh, a Dreamcast Classic reimagined for the Wii, Samba de Amigo. You don't have to have actual Maraca controllers. Although I'm sure somebody probably made plastic Maraca things you could probably put on here to work with this game. And the last game here is a game that still goes for 40 bucks on its own, or 50 bucks with a Wii wheel, and it is Mario Kart Wii. Uh, and of course the disc, no manual. Uh, actually, I just realized that I forgot to bring up the uh, the Wii wheel. This did come with a Wii wheel, but you guys know what that looks like, so that's no big deal. <laughs> All 
All right, the rest of them I got on today, which again, this is Saturday as I'm recording this. Uh, and before I get to the ones I did today, I, I, I want to preface it by I went out for one garage sale that was selling an Atari 2600 and a bunch of games. They didn't put the price on Craigslist, which is always scary. Hi Zoe, thank you, I love your hugs. But they, it said, it specifically said in the Craigslist ad that they would not sell anything before 10 a.m. I get there at exactly 10 a.m. and the lady goes, I'm sorry. I sold that Atari just a few minutes before you got here. Zoe was with, Zoe was with me for all these, so I, I wanted to blow up at the lady, but I didn't. <laughs> and but I did I did tell her, well, you know, if your if your ad says nothing will be sold before ten, you shouldn't have sold anything before ten. And it's probably a damn reseller that probably got it too, which just sticks in my crawl. I mean, I really had no idea if it was or not, but I wouldn't be surprised. So, I continued to go garage selling and went to a couple of thrift stores as well, uh, and uh, I'll show you what I picked up. So first, I went to this store where somebody has literally just turned their house into a thrift store. Uh, and again, this is like a private thrift store for them, but it's, this is actually run out of a house. Uh, most of the stuff there was like dresses and clothes and stuff like that. She had some movies, and, and mixed in the movies was a Genesis game. Uh, and uh, she sold it to me for three bucks. It came in its original case, and it is NBA Jam. Oh, that is a good one here. And uh, it, it comes with the cartridge, the manual, and under the manual... Yeah, you better believe it. Yet another poster from Acclaim. Uh, another poster here. Try to show you everything there. Uh, and part of that is the oh, the Rainbow of Doom. <laughs> but it's okay. I mean, there's some good games on this poster. WWF Royal Rumble, Alien Three. You guys should see Atari Leaf's review of Alien Three, actually, or closer look. Uh, Mortal Kombat, of course. Spider-Man and X-Men. I don't know if that was a good one or not. Though. And uh, T2. Well, it's not T2 the arcade game, though. It's the other Terminator 2. Anyways, that was three bucks for that. They also, uh, then, uh, kind of across the street, it's like maybe half a block down, but then also across the street, is that thrift store that's attached to the, uh, attached to the storage locker I've told you guys about before. And this was one dollar, and I don't know if you're going to be able to see it until I open it up, but this is silent service. And it was one dollar for the NES, and it included the, the yellow case here, which I probably won't keep, so who knows. Hi, kitty cat. There's always a kitty cat. Meow. Hi, kitty cat. Nice kitty, kitty, kitty. Nice kitty, kitty, kitty. Oh, nice doggy. <laughs> uh, yes, my dog just gets me. Okay, then I went to another, uh, uh, I went to a yard sale, and Zoe just knocked the chair, so I'll try to move it back here. And uh, this person was selling a whole ton of games, and he was kind of overpriced. It wasn't the best pricing. You could tell he was buying them to resell them, and he was telling me, oh, I've seen him go for this price. But at least they were all like, one set price, like all PlayStation 2 games for four bucks. But that was four bucks whether they were in a case or just disc only. And whether it was a sports game or a rare game, he didn't care. So I'll give you the price of the games I got. Some of these are good prices for games. Hi, kitty cat. Hi, kitty. All right, uh, first thing I saw there was this for three bucks. It was Frogger for the Game Boy Color. Who doesn't like classic Frogger? And then, he had a stack of GameCube games, and I saw this in it, and the GameCube games he was selling for four bucks a piece. And all the other GameCube games really weren't good, but Resident Evil Zero, that is good. And both discs are included, of course, no manual. It seems like today was no manual day. And he had uh, some PlayStation games, you know, PS1 games he was selling for two bucks a piece. Uh, the two I found were disc only, but but you'll actually see how one of them actually benefits me. The first one is a game I really wanted, Mortal Kombat Trilogy. 
put on PlayStation. I can't wait to pop that in and play it. I love me some more Mortal Kombat. Thank you, Zoe. Can you put that back, please? No. Okay. <laughs> yeah. And the other game that was disc only, and you'll see why I haven't put it in one of my jewel cases, is Extreme Pinball. And uh, I actually previously had the case and the manual for it, uh, as my phone decided to go off right now. And I had bought this, the, or I thought I had bought Extreme Pinball at another yeah. store in Columbus a, year, a few years back. Thank you, Zoe. And when I got home, the disc was gone. I thought I saw him put it in there, and he never did. Um, but no biggies now. I got the got the game. It took me two more dollars, but now I've got it in the case. So that's pretty cool. And then I went to one more yard sale. And thank you, Zoe. And she gave me all my Game Boy Advance games. <laughs> that's kind of funny. Anyways, I went to one more uh, yard sale, and this place... Didn't really have much of anything. There's some PC games, some uh, toys and such. Uh, got Zoe like a little dump truck thing. Or a uh, monster truck, not a dump truck. Thank you, Zoe. And um, then there was one other thing. And she, I, I uh, saw this. I shot her off for 10 bucks. She took it. Uh, I haven't had a chance to clean it up yet or even test it out, but I will test it out here as soon as this video is done. And I'll, re I'll redo this video if, uh, if it doesn't work. So if this is the take you get, then, uh, then you know that this ends up working. But it is a Platinum Nintendo GameCube. And again, it's 10 bucks. Uh, no game came with it, because uh, they, they had a Wii as well, and they were keeping the game for the Wii. Um, it did come with one controller that looks a little beat up. Uh, but, you know, it's always good to have some extra controllers, um, the power brick thing, and a set of Nintendo AV cables, which I already have another set that I'll use instead of this, because this one looks like it's been chewed up by a dog. Go. Thank you very much, Zoe. But either way, uh, you know, to get a GameCube for 10 bucks is awesome, and you guys might be thinking, you know that I have a Wii, why would I get this? Well, there's only one reason why I would get this, and that is to now go out and find myself a uh, Game Boy player. Uh, basically, uh, and it's really, you know, to be able to go in that high speed port right there, I just took the door off of. Uh, it's going to be used for high speed internet or the Game Boy player, and obviously, uh, they don't, they didn't really do internet, but the Game Boy player. That's something I uh, definitely, definitely need to get my hands on. So, <laughs> I will be doing that here uh, as soon as I can find one. Uh, so, now, on with the rest of the show. Well, folks, I lied a minute ago saying that the uh, uh, that there'd be no more pickups. I did have one more pickup uh, between uh, the last pickups and when this show will be uploaded. It's not a video game itself, but it uh, it will work with my PlayStation games. And in one of my previous videos, I said I had so many PlayStation games, I only had a few more spots left, and I didn't know what I was going to do as far as the uh, old CD holder thing that I had them in. Well, I stopped at another garage sale, and I saw one of these, and I've already put my PlayStation games in it. But as you can see, so many holes in the bottom. Uh, so, and what I'm doing as far as uh, my order of games is I'm going alphabetical order horizontally and then down, so the top four games there are, you know, the first four and then it'd be the next four around and so on and so forth. Because uh, I thought it would just be boring to maybe to go down and then have a few empty spots that would have been boring. So I like having it like this for now. Of course it spins around so I can get to any of my PlayStation games that at least have the original cases very easily and what I really need to do is get some CD cases and go to that uh, cover project and get them you know get these printed up for those too bad my double disc games will never fit in this though so there we go one more pickup to make this video even longer just a public announcement here, I've got a code here for Pokemon White for uh, the Club Nintendo website 
that uh, I dug out of the uh, a dumpster of GameStop, so the code may have already been used, but when I tried to put in the code, it said that I've already put in a code for Pokemon White before, and I have. So I cannot use the code. So if you need a code for your Club Nintendo account, just uh, send me a private message, and I'll give you the code, and hopefully it'll work for you. Alright folks, this is the part of the show where I'm going to respond to uh, EdT1138's Top 3 Tuesday question. This week's question was asked by me. And I asked, uh, what were your top three uh, games on Atari branded system that could be any Atari system? And uh, I already answered that when I asked the question on Tuesday, so what am I doing answering the question again? Well, today I'm going to limit myself to the new Atari Flashback 3 that was sent to me uh, by DMB Shooter 1. And once again, dude, th thank you so much. I love this thing. But I'm going to give my top three Atari Flashback 3 games uh, that are on here, and the first one is going to be Secret Quest, which originally came out in 1989, uh, and I do have the cartridge for all three of the games I'm going to have here, by the way. Uh, this game was originally put out, uh, it's said by Nolan Bushnell, but it was actually a team that was headed by Nolan Bushnell. He didn't really have direct involvement of this game. But this game's kind of like Atari's answer to Zelda. I mean, it, the world's not nearly as big or as diverse, but there are lots of items to get, and, and there's a nice little quest to get. So that people who still had the Atari 2600 in 1989, if they knew about this game, they got a really, really fantastic game for their system. Number two on here, hey, it's actually right on the same line, is Missile Command, uh, which, you know, everybody knows about Missile Command being a classic arcade game from Atari, ported to the home systems, um, you know, the home computer versions of a t Missile Command is probably a little bit better than the 2600 version, but this is the one I, I you know, recognize, uh, the one that I've, uh, played, uh, most often. Uh, I've yet to play the 5200 or the computer version, so, but I do love Missile Command. I can put hours into this game, uh, but I can also put hours into the last game on my list, and it is Centipede. Now, if Millipede was on this system, Millipede would be number one for me, but it's not. The Centipede being on here is still good enough for me. I mean, it's one fantastic game. The graphics aren't as good as, say, Centipede on the 7800 or the ColecoVision, but that's okay, the, game, the frantic gameplay is there, and you know, you know, as long as you know that the little tiny dashes, those little tiny dashes are supposed to be mushrooms, and that's a spider, and that's your centipede, and that's your guy down there, you know, you, you know what's what, <laughs> and uh, everything seems to be really, really fantastic. So those are my top three favorite games on the Atari Flashback 3. So I answered my own question. For the second time. <laughs> uh, definitely ch go check out EdT1138 if you haven't yet. And uh, now on with the show. Alright folks, this is the part of the show where I have you vote on one of five games for this upcoming uh, Tuesday's crappy video game review. And this week's theme is going to be Mario Kart games because now I have five Mario Kart games. So that's perfect for voting one out of five. Uh, so you can vote from Super Mario Kart for the Super Nintendo. Mario Kart 64 from the Nintendo 64. Mario Kart Double Dash from the GameCube. Mario Kart DS for the Nintendo DS, although I am warning you guys, if you pick this one, the video quality is going to be very poor. And of course, my newest one, Mario Kart Wii for the Wii. So if you want me to vote for any of these five games, just leave a comment in the comment section below. And I will review one of these five games this upcoming Tuesday on my crappy video game reviews. Alright folks, this week's shout out is for my good friend to the north of me. Yeah, this is Atari Leaf. And this is a guy who's been doing a lot of great videos for a long time. He does a lot of great uh, pickup videos. He does a lot of great reviews, which he calls uh, his uh, Closer Look series. And uh, actually, one of my favorite reviews on uh, all of YouTube is his review for Alien 3 on the Sega Genesis, uh, so I will be uh, not only putting a link to Atari Leaf's channel in the description below, but also a link to that particular review of Alien 3. Uh, definitely check that out. 
And uh, hopefully there's at least five of you guys that are watching that don't know uh, who Atari Leaf is because uh, he deserves to get up to 200 or 2200 subscribers. He's at 2195 as of the recording of this video. Um, and certainly uh, he is one uh, awesome person on here. I mean, come on, look, look at his channel page. He has a bunch of Atari games on the, you know, Atari 2600 games on the back of his channel page. He, he has to be good. Uh, so yes, definitely check out Atari Leaf uh, if you haven't yet. Bye-bye! Bye everybody, see you next week.